baby, I'm home. Oh, it's so good to be back again. Uh, let me just drop off my tools and I'll come right down. Oh, I missed you so much. Did you miss me too? <laughs> of course you did. I'm sure you were getting lonely, spending all day in the house by yourself. I'm sorry if you waited too long, but as an apology, I've got a surprise for you. I stopped on the way home and got us a big box of pizza and a nice movie for us to watch together. A perfect way to relax after a long, hard day. Although, the pizza guy wouldn't stop talking on his phone when I was trying to order. It was rude. Didn't he know that my fawn, my baby, was hungry? Who could he be talking with that's more important? He should be thankful he gets to feed someone like you. The ungrateful livestock. I'll have to pay him a visit sometime. Show him how lucky he was to serve you in that moment of his life. Maybe next time he'll appreciate it more. Uh, but let's not dwell on that, baby. I'll take care of it later. Uh, for now, just let me kick off my shoes and then we can move on over to the couch and watch the movie I got for us. Uh, our first movie night. I can hardly wait. It's going to be so much fun. We can cuddle up and eat pizza and just be close to each other. Doesn't that sound amazing right now, little fawn? Oh, we're gonna have so much fun tonight. And there we go. Right where they should be. No mix-ups. A place for everything and everything in its place. Good night, my little tools. Ah, oh, don't be sad. I'll see you again soon. We'll play some more later. I hope you're hungry, baby. I got an extra large for us, so we can be up all night having a Baby? W where are you? Baby? No, no, no. You can't be gone. What? Please, no. What happened here? I don't want to be alone again. Uh, what's this? Smells like you. Mm -hmm. So good. I'm getting a little dizzy. Uh, but there's also that heavy scent. It's like rusted iron. And the slickness here on the bed. And on the ropes. Still tied tight, but I can plainly see the red soaking into the fibers. Uh, there's no doubt about it. Blood. His blood. It's such a pretty color. A beautiful, vivid red. Uh, so light and. Uh, 
still wet. <sighs> Not fully clotted yet either. I'd say about an hour and a half old. Mm. The door automatically locks after closing, and there aren't any windows or fire escapes. And that means only one thing. You're still here, aren't you, Fawn? Are we playing a game of hide-and-seek right now? <laughs> you had me so worried, baby. I thought something terrible had happened. Uh, but it seems you have a mischievous streak, don't you? I bet you were patiently waiting for me. Ready to greet me and talk to me and do all kinds of fun stuff to make up for lost time. Who would have expected you would want to play a game right after I came home? It's been a long day, so this might be just what I needed. You're such a sweetie for doing this for me. Hmm. With all I see so far, you must have rubbed your wrist so incredibly bloody in order to slip out of the ropes. It must have been so painful to have those rough fibers slowly saw and flay through your skin. Oh, poor baby. It hurt, but you did it for me, didn't you? I'll be sure to clean you right up and get you some bandages when I find you, wherever you might be hiding. Where to start first? Obviously, getting under the bed would be the first instinct. So let's check under there. Uh, nope. Well, that would be too easy, wouldn't it, baby? Ah, uh, but what's this? It looks like you left a little trail behind. Oh, how sloppy, little fawn. You should always cover any bleeding if you want to conceal where you're going. Getting too excited and just moving quickly leaves lots of little clues behind that someone can pick up if they know how. All oh, these little breadcrumbs that just drip drop, drip, drop, down and leave a path, a map, penned by the very beat of your heart, and the pulse of your veins, hmm, based on the spacing between drops, it looks like you ran this way, all the way to the stairs, and up, up, up. <laughs> I can see the handprint on the door from here. You tried to open it, but... But didn't know it electronically locks as soon as it's closed. Mm, looks like you tried for a while. There's a lot of red on this side. After a little more effort, you came back down and picking up the trail again, you must have headed over this way. Oh, little fawn, the blood loss must have been catching up with you by now. I can see how you stumbled right here. Catching yourself on the couch. That's good. Mmm, fresher here. Were you resting for a minute? Leaned up against the fabric. 
Uh, you are losing so much. It needs to be stopped quickly. You turned your head. The effort must have made you swoon. But through the haze that started to creep out from the corners of your vision, you saw it, didn't you? The white medicine cabinet, just above the sink. If nothing else, there were surely bandages in there. Is that the thought that moved your feet towards it? More bloody prints on the porcelain of the sink. And I see discarded wrappers in there as well. <laughs> Your fingers must have been getting numb at this point. So getting the bandage right took much longer than usual. Too long. This is the freshest yet. Only a few minutes old. Still so slick and warm. You're near, aren't you, Fawn? My heart is beating so fast. I wonder if it's matching yours. And now all that's left is to finally reunite. And that will be so very soon. I know where you are, baby. <laughs> I see the dripping red from the wall locker. That little pool sits like a welcome mat, beckoning me inside. Hello. I can see your pretty eyes gleaming from behind the slits in the metal. Found you at last. Ah. Uh, baby. That's cheating. You shouldn't hold the door like that. I already found you. So no use installing for time. Just come out of there and I can help you get all clean. You're being so stubborn, baby. It hurts to be in there, doesn't it? Your wounds are only gonna get worse the longer you wait. Eventually you'll pass out. And I'll get you out anyway. So open up for me. It's okay. I'm here to help. The game is over. So let me tend to you. The little fawn. Come out of there. Playtime is over. And I want to see you. So don't make me force you to open the door. Baby, don't yell at me. It's not my fault I won the game. Though I think we'll both win once we're together, so there's no reason to be sore about it. That's not a debate, sweetie. You can get yourself out, or I can. I'll give you to the count of three. One. Two, three. Okay, baby. Just remember you wanted this. Aww. Are you okay in there, Fawn? That was a hard fall. Are you still awake? <laughs> now the locker's down on the floor. But you can still open the door and roll out into my arms. But before that, let me just kneel on the other side. Ah, do you hear that? This is a cheap locker. 
The metal is flexible but thin. It works for holding things, but it's not very sturdy. You can put a knife blade through it pretty easily. And just like that, nothing to it. Uh, I don't feel any resistance. So I must have not hit anything. How lucky. But when do you think that kind of luck will run out? I can fix any injury you have. I'm a med student after all, so even something like a stab wound is no big deal to me. I'd prefer to just bandage you up and cuddle on the couch tonight. But if you want, we can play a new game right here. How much can you handle before you let go of the goddamn door? Ah, baby. Hi. Hello. How are you? Oh, you're all red, sweetie. Here, let me take you over to the couch. No, no, it's okay. I can lift you. So just lay there. Almost there, and made it. Just sit still for a bit, baby. I'll be right over there and be back with something for your wrists. I'm sorry I took a while to come back home. Uh, but baby, it was such a long day at work today. I wonder why everyone decides to take a week of vacation around this time. There was so much to do and not enough hands to make it light work. Dealing with the mess first shift left behind took almost all day. Not to mention the boss's constant personal requests all day long at random times. It's enough to drive anyone insane after a while. Where's this? We need that. Who made a mess over here? Yap, yap, yap. Always complaining and asking for more and more. Like greedy little piglets. I also don't like how they're keeping me for overtime. The later they make me stay, the less time I get to spend with you. Uh, the swine are getting up at a conspiring to keep us apart so they can take you from me. I won't let that happen. Ever. I'll see to it that they never come between us. I'll make it clear to them however many times I need to. <sighs> no, no. Don't go getting yourself worked up about it again. Do your breathing exercises, just like how the therapist taught you. <sighs> Don't bring those bad feelings home with you. Just leave them back at work. <sighs> at least it's over for today. It does kill me inside to be away from my baby for so long. Thinking about you was the only thing that got me through the day. Though it did distract me a little at times. I get yelled at in a bit, but I really can't help it if I zone out sometimes while thinking about you. You're so sweet and cute and perfect and mine. I wonder if the others can tell that I got a boyfriend. And they do give me strange looks every now and again. Maybe I've been acting differently. 
Hmm. I guess it's not all bad having a little overtime. It means I have a little bit more money than usual, so we can have these fun little dates. Ah, the pizza. Ah, uh, that's right. It should still be warm, but let me know if it's too cold, okay? good spread of things here for you. Some general disinfectant, and I found some really good bandages, hemostatic ones, so all that bleeding should clot right up. Oh, this is gonna sting and burn at first. I wish I could take the pain away, but that's something I just can't do. Oh, I'm sorry, baby, but it should be over quickly, so bear with it for just a bit, okay? Oh, I know, baby. Let's look forward to all the fun we'll have tonight once this is all taken care of, okay? Just you and me snuggling up on the couch, eating pizza. The perfect evening with the perfect person. Mm, that's enough of the disinfectant. You're clean as a whistle. Mm, it's all tore up here. Poor baby. I'll get you bandaged up in a jiffy. This reminds me of when my mom used to take care of me. Whenever I skinned my knee or it got a cut, she was very good at taking care of people. She had to do it a lot. Maybe she was the inspiration for me to go into the medical field. And there you go. All done. Oh, wait. I almost forgot. You stayed still and didn't fuss, so I think you earned a sticker to pretty up those bandages. Do you want a teddy bear? A cool dragon? Oh, maybe a penguin. They're so cute. Let's go with that. <laughs> that looks good on you, baby. <sighs> With all that taken care of, let's cuddle and wind down for the night. I want to hold you. Mm, just what I needed. So relaxing. I'll go ahead and put on the movie for us. Hey, baby. I love you.